Welcome to the 2014-15 Northern Kentucky University Women's Basketball Atlantic Sun Media Day. My name is Brian McEldowney and I'll be serving as moderator for today's discussion alongside head coach Don Plitzelwhite, senior Melody Doss, and senior Caitlin Garrity. Thank you for joining us. Uh, coach, let's just start right away. Your assessment of the team so far in practice early on. Well, I really like our, our effort, our intensity. I think we have a group of young ladies that really loves to get after it. They compete, they compete well. Now it's a matter of fine tuning how we get better. Okay, Mel, if you had to use one word to describe practice so far, how would you describe it? Um, intense. Can, I think, you, can uh, you explain? A, can you elaborate <laughs> yeah, a little bit? Right? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I just think, like I just said, we, our intensity has been really, um, really good so far, and. Um, especially for the younger girls who are just kind of thrown out there and not really sure what's going on right now, but their intensity is really, really, really good. So I think, yeah, that ex explains it pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Caitlin, I, I had a conversation with uh, assistant coach Russ Rose the other day, and he talked about everybody really getting after it in practice and how, you know, at times the coaching staff feels that they may have to protect you guys from each other. <laughs> Do you have the same assessment? I do. It gets really um, intense, like, like Mel was saying, it gets really intense among every competition we have, whether it's a drill, whether we're scrimmaging, everybody's trying to get every point they can. We have a point system at practice that helps us really compete to want to win every, every play, every drill we're doing. So it, it does get pretty intense. We're going after each other sometimes, but we love each other at the end of the day. Uh, Coach, sitting next to you, you've got Mel, first team all-conference last year, preseason all-conference. She was the fan-voted player of the year. And on the other side of her, you've got Caitlin, preseason fan voted defensive player of the year. What makes the two of them so special? Well, I think their hunger for being their best is really what separates them from, from other players and from where they've been. I think they, they've always wanted to be really good players, and now they have some, there's some special little char characteristic that they both have. And that I would define as they're very hungry. I think they are both doing a very good job of leading in different ways. They have diff very different personalities, and they're both using though their characteristics, their attributes to lead, be leaders for us on the court. Mel, I'll, I'll follow up with you a little bit. Um, both individually and as a team this year, uh, the, the program kind of has a, a, a different target on its back than maybe in years past. How does the team go about preparing for that? Um, I think just pretty much just going out there and doing our best and doing the best that we can and not really worrying about the results, but just going out there and controlling what we can control and um, just working hard and doing the best things that we can do and just letting everything fall where they may. Okay. Uh, Caitlin, what does it what does it mean to, to have so many fans behind you guys? You know, you, you got the Defensive Player of the Year fan voted. Mel got Player of the Year fan vote. What does it mean to have the fans support like that? It's unbelievable. We've known for so long that we have such a great fan base, but this just proves it again. We um, Just getting all these notifications on Facebook, like this person shared this page and this person shared this picture. It's, it's so great knowing that we have the support, and it, it happens year in and year out. It doesn't change. Coach, we know the team's made of, of much more than just these two. Kind of, kind of take us through the the other returning players a little bit. Who else has kind of stood out so far in practice? Well, I think if you look at the upperclassmen group, Malika Glover is our third senior. She hasn't been able to play for us because of injuries, but she's coming back. She's doing a great job. She's been another fantastic leader. She's a very vocal leader, real high energy kid. Uh, in our junior class, our other upperclassmen. We have Christine Rausch, who started for us for her first two years. Her sister, Courtney Rausch, who has been a, a great practice player for us and continues to improve, and it really sets a tone defensively for us and practices a lot. And, and then we also, with that group, have Rihanna Gayhart. So I think those, really that core of six upperclassmen have really been the ones who have, I think, kind of set the tone. In, in really in the summer because we can start working out with our kids. It's limited, it's two hours a week in the summer, but they set the tone early on and they've continued to do that. Uh, Caitlin, I'm gonna come back to you real quick, kind of put you on the spot here. Four, four freshmen on the team, mm -hmm. Faith Sanders, Michaela Terry, uh, Casey Utrecht, and Molly Franson. Can you, can you describe those four? In one word or just in Just in general, general. take, take <laughs> wow. each one. Let's, um, let's start with Faith. Okay. Talk, talk about Faith, describe Faith real quick. Real quick, Faith on the front is the goofiest girl I've ever met, but she works hard, as hard as anybody. So she's definitely getting after it. She wants to win. 
She wants to get better, but underneath, she's just the goofiest girl ever. She's hysterical. Okay, let's move on to Michaela Terry. Okay, Michaela on the on her front is complete opposite. She's quiet, still loves to work hard, wants to get after it. She's quiet, but we're definitely bringing her out of her shell, and it's really it's really looking good for Michaela. <laughs> and let's move on to, to Casey now. Casey, um, she's definitely stepped up at uh, the beginning of this beginning of preseason before our game start. She's um, becoming very vocal in practice, and it's she's looking really great. It's definitely coming along for her. And then finally, Molly. Molly, she is, is just like Casey. She's becoming very vocal in practice. She uh, definitely is getting to know what we're expecting from her as a freshman or as any player on the court. And she's um, really working hard to get to be where she needs to be. Good. Coach, um, you also had the services of, of Shari Davis this year. Uh, how do you anticipate her impacting the team? Well, I think Shari's trying to figure that out right now, as we are. I think we approach things a little bit differently in the respect that Right now we're trying to put our players in situations and see in practice scenarios what do they naturally do and then how can we modify what we run to really suit them and so right now it's kind of a learning process for us but she's someone who's run a motion offense she's really she was a great player at Youngstown State a real aggressive player created a great deal for her teammates but also had the ability to score it and so I anticipate that she'll once she's comfortable with because it is while well, she has an advantage and that she's played in a motion offense before it was a little bit different flavor a little bit different um, kind of mannerisms if you will on the court a little different look and so now it's just a matter of figuring that out but I know she's someone who really just wants as, as these two young ladies do just really wants a team to excel and be their best okay uh, looking ahead a little bit switching gears to the schedule now uh, non-conference schedule seven opponents who participated in the postseason Akron Kentucky Wright State in the NCAA Marquette and Delaware in the WNIT uh, Grand Canyon and IPFW also played in the, the WBI what were you looking for when you, when you pieced together your non-conference schedule? Well, we're certainly looking to challenge our players. Our goal is obviously to, to be the best that we can be, and in order to do that, we need to play against the best competition that we can face. And so we feel really good about our non-conference schedule in terms of being able to play some teams that can help us prepare for our conference season. And so, you know, we are, we're excited about it, but it, I think it's also helped with the intensity of our practices because we, we understand. I think our players have done a very good job of understanding that, that what, what, as soon as we open up on November 13th, we're playing against some very good teams. Uh, Mel, when you, when you saw the schedule for the first time, what really stood out to you? Um, definitely the Kentucky game. I think that's going to be a lot of fun to go down there and play against them. It's going to be challenging, like Coach said, but I think uh, me as well as the other girls are definitely looking forward to it and just um, ready to step up to the challenges that we're going to face with our non-conference schedule. And um, it's just going to be a lot of fun to compete against these teams and just to know that we're only going to get better for our conference teams. Well, and, and preseason predicted third overall uh, pre predicted to finish third in the conference. Um, expectations a little bit different this season. We kind of touched on uh, based on that a little bit before. How do you how do you go about preparing for the season, Coach? Since I talked to the players about it already, how how do you go about preparing for the season with a little higher expectations than in years past? Well, we're a little bit different than we were the first year that we were here at Northern Kentucky and the first year in the Atlantic Sun. We had a team that had very different makeup. We were we had a lot of post players, and so we ran a system that really suited our personnel. Last year we tweaked the system and moved into a more of a motion offense type of play. This year we have a lot of players who've played in that. So last year I felt like at this time of the season we probably were majoring in, we were minoring in the majors. We were introducing a lot of different concepts and so we, there was a lot thrown at our players. Where this year it's a little bit different where we've maybe maybe really majored in some of the minor details and so what we've done is try to really focus on certain areas within our offense or certain areas within our defense and really focus on small minute details which will really help us get better so it's a very different uh, I guess approach in some ways although we're doing the same types of drills but maybe the focus is a little different well and I'm going to throw this out to all three of you that not only is the focus on the court a little bit different but expectations are going to be different First year eligible to participate in the ASUN tournament. Um, what does what does that mean? How much excitement has that brought to the gym? Coach, we'll go ahead and start with you. Well, I think anytime your players can compete for championships, it adds a whole new level of enthusiasm and excitement and 
and something more to shoot for. And so uh, I really am excited, thankful that the A-Sun has allowed us to play in the A-Sun tournament this year, beginning this season. So we're really looking forward to it. I think it's definitely exciting, it being um, Kate and I's last year, and um, for this opportunity to arise. I think it's really exciting for us, and it just gives us another thing to shoot for and to work hard for, and um, I can't wait to get started. <laughs> It's a perfect closing, like Mel said, for us to um, begin in Division II and get to experience the NCAA tournament. Now we get to go, um, it's not exactly the same, but it's, it's the conference tournament and it's just as exciting and it'll be so great to compete for that championship that we can hopefully get to obtain. That would be great. Well, it, you guys both just touched upon it as well. I'll, I'll stick with the two of you, but you guys have been in a, in a kind of a great little scenario here where your, your first year as part of the program was Division Two NCAA tournament. You've got to see the progression. Uh, what's that been, what, what has the transition been like for the two of you and, and what has it meant to you guys as players and individuals to have gone through it? Um, I think it's, it's really cool just to be um, a part of the program and just to see everything grow and to see where it's, where it's headed. I think it's really cool to be a part of that. And like you said, starting off with Division Two and then um, ending where we're at right now, I think and being able to compete in the ASUN tournament, I think that's just, it's an awesome feeling and it's very exciting, like I said, to be a part of it and just to see us, see the program grow like, like it is. We've had a lot thrown at us over the years from finding out we were moving to Division One, then getting a new coach and just that adjustment was, was difficult at times, but it was great knowing that Mel was always with me or even the rest of our teammates always had our backs and we all got through it together. And now that we're progressing towards like championships and postseason play, it's, it's so exciting getting to see how far we've come in this process. Well, Coach Mel, Caitlin, thank you for, for taking the time to, to speak with us today. Uh, good luck this season. Uh, on behalf of Head Coach Don Plitzelite, Melody Doss, Caitlin Garrity, I'm Brian McEldenny. Thank you for joining us today, and as always, go Norse.